Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the introduction to two-dimensional arrays. Right in one-dimensional array, so the data always in linear format in a line. Right, two-dimensional array means what? The data, right, always in rows and columns. So when you represent the information in rows and columns, we can say that two-dimensional data. For example, here, right, three rows and three columns, three rows and three columns. So we are representing the data like this. So total nine elements, three into three. And index also we are representing horizontally, horizontally as well as vertically, horizontal and vertical, zero, one, two. 0, 1, 2. This is. So, whenever you are representing the data two dimensionally in rows and columns format, so what is required means either you store the data or you want to process the data, is we go with the two dimensional arrays. Two dimensional arrays index. And this one, the intersection point is representing. So, this is 0, 0 index. The intersection point, right, is representing the field. So nothing but zero zero is representing, and this is representing zero throw first column. Is representing zero throw second column. Is representing first row zeroth column, first row first column, first row second column, and this one is representing second row zeroth column. Second row, first column, second row, second column. So, this is the way we are representing. So, based on the index, we are storing the information, accessing the information, or processing the information. So, modification, any operation we can do. Suppose if you want to, if you want to display the information in two rows and three columns, right? For example, so this is the way we are representing like this. The two rows and two rows and three columns. For example, three rows and two columns, if you want to represent, right? See here, the representation will be like this. So for the number of rows and for the number of columns, we are specifying, we are specifying the index based on the index values only we are representing. And how can we process? If it is one dimensional array, we always use one loop, single for loop we are using to process the data, right? If it is a two dimensional array, so we are using nested loop. For example, three rows and three columns. So we are representing like this is the outer for loop. I index starts with a zero, I less than or equals to two or less than three, anything I plus plus starts with a index zero. And this is and here it is a suppose I am representing the inner loop for j starts with a 0, j is less than or equals to 2 and j plus plus. This is the way we are representing. And suppose if you want to represent the second one, how many rows? Only two rows are there. Index is up to one only. But how many columns are there? Three columns are there. So 0 to 2. Suppose if you want to represent this one. Right, how many rows are there? Three rows are there. So, 0, 1, 2. But how many columns are there? Right, only two columns. So, 0 to 1 only. Outer loop always represents the number of rows, and inner loop always represents the number of columns. Right. So, two dimensional arrays are used to store and process the two dimensional data. Nothing but the data which is in rows and columns format we process the information using their index right how can we process means we always use nested loops the simple way of processing with the nested for loops okay the programs on two-dimensional arrays we'll discuss in the next video hope you understood thank you all